right, well, this video is going to be a bit slanted. Hi! <laughs> that was like almost a minute of me just trying to put my camera up. Um, first off, it's really going to bother me that it's slanted. What is this? Yeah, so I dyed my hair. Ooh, bright. It's purple now. I did my makeup and stuff. I did a couple of TikToks because <laughs> I love TikTok trans tra transition videos, like when you look shabby and then you look better. So I did makeup and did some of those. Go check it out. My TikTok is listed in the description. I thought I would sit down with you guys and update you on everything that's been going on. I might repeat a few things that I've already said in earlier videos, but there are some new um, details to my story. It has been a tough week. I mean, I would love to just blame the Mercury retrograde and the moon and the stars and all that which maybe partially this is what's causing that you know who knows um i tend to believe in that stuff but if you don't that's fine um my life has just been changing um pretty dramatically uh as early as may maybe even before that I've been suffering from a pretty bad low in my life. My depression has been worse. My anxiety has been worse. Um, pretty much everything has been worse. Um, I just looked at my stuffed animals. <laughs> I love them, okay? I love them. Struggling with depression and anxiety and other things too. Um, it took its toll on me when I was at work. Uh, I was having a lot of panic attacks. I hate my eyebrows right now. Like, they're patchy. I'm on a little bit of a high right now because I did just dye my hair and I think it looks really good. If you don't, I don't care. <laughs> but this gave me a lot of serotonin and I have not felt this way in a long time, so... This video is sad, but I'm not, so kind of weird, but, um... It affected me at work. I was having panic attacks. I was calling out of work. Um, I was having anxiety attacks at work. I was not handling the pressure well it was it's been getting busier apparently they're much busier now even and I just knew I wouldn't be able to do it <laughs> um honestly I used to do it you know I worked six days a week at one point working very busy shifts two doubles I was just on a roll and then the pandemic hit and I gained weight and had a breakup and then, you know, got back together eventually with this person and I became even more isolated than I was before. I didn't really talk to anyone. I didn't even talk to my family really. And that I think affected me a lot and the pressure of going back into society when everything opened back up again. I just wasn't ready for it and I had a lot of foot pain, um, which is really weird, but I forget w what it's called exactly. But I had like a foot disorder where I was wearing compression socks um, on my doubles to work because at the end of the day I was limping from the pain. Um, basically I was getting polyps in my heels. If you know, you know, it is the worst pain <laughs> ever. And so I was experiencing that. And by the way, icing your feet is better than like hot water or anything. So if you have that, uh, the 14 people who watch this, 
I just got a notification. My medication notification. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to have to edit this video together. I don't want to. <laughs> Where was I? I basically wasn't doing well at work. And then we shut down again. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. But at first I was like a manager and took on more responsibility. And then all of the uh, staff members and stuff were not fun to work with and the customers were not fun to talk to because it was the whole rules and the masks and the six feet away and people didn't really understand what was going on. Uh, so a lot of confused, irate people <laughs> and you know, not getting in a lot of money at that time. It was still very slow. We couldn't have a lot of customers in the building. Now we can, everything's different. All the restrictions are lifted and that really freaked me out too. Anyways, the point is a couple of weeks ago, I think now, I quit my job because I had a pretty bad panic attack uh, the day that the restrictions were lifted. I wasn't ready to not wear a mask. I wasn't ready to be around a huge crowd of people when I was working. I wasn't ready for lines of people waiting or hour waits and people being more upset. <laughs> I just wasn't okay with that and I actually made a video um, once I calmed down a little bit but I was still pretty much having a panic attack in that video. Um, it's not funny. It's really, it's really bad. I quit my job and then like a week later my mom found a new waitress and I was out. So <laughs> I only have therapy once a week and that's not really enough to keep my mind busy. So I've been going on walks more, like this is stuff from therapy, I've been going on walks more, I've been doing my hobbies more, getting off of the phone and the computer as much as I can, which is really hard because I don't have any friends or do anything. <laughs> um, so there's been like a period of more sadness with that, of just being like, I'm alone. Uh, and it's really hard and um, being home all the time, home all the time is really hard. And I've been trying to be around family more again. Uh, I've been... Anyway, I'm jumping all over the place, but my therapist has been trying to get me into a group program that's like an outpatient program um, for people who suffer from a number of different things, including depression, anxiety, and trauma related issues. And um, I wasn't getting into one for about two weeks and then she just got me into one that is through Zoom. So it's video called and it starts next week. Today's Friday, so it starts on Monday. Um, and I'm actually jumping ahead there too because I found that out on Wednesday and um, Monday, I think, or Sunday night, whatever, was one of the hardest days I've had in my life in a long time and um, I was struggling mentally already that night. I was, my therapist had brought up relationships and I, I have a really hard past with relationships and trauma surrounded by that. And, um, also some doubts and insecurities due to a number of things, but not necessarily my partner in my current relationship. And so I was actually thinking about all of that and getting a little worked up over it and anxious, really. And um, I had to speak with a crisis counselor who wasn't that helpful. Sometimes they are very helpful and sometimes they're not. This one wasn't really. And he was basically like, you don't have no one, you can talk to us. And I was just like, I don't want to talk. <laughs> I don't want to talk to crisis counselors my whole life. Um, so it just wasn't helpful and so I wasn't doing well and then um, 
my boyfriend and my partner, my best friend, my only friend, my only support that I felt that I had, um, messaged me and said he, he messaged me and he said he didn't know if we should continue the relationship. Now, being that I was already questioning the relationship, you would think I would just be like, oh, totally fine. I freaked out. Um, I wasn't ready to call it quits, and now we're calling it a break, just so you know. Uh, I still, I don't know. It's like, I'm not taken, but I'm not looking for anything else, and I don't think he is either, and... We're both really working on our inner selves and our external lives and not really a partner so we'll see where that goes obviously if i felt like i lost my only support and he really understands mental health he really understands where i am at at certain times and a lot of people who are in my close circle of people uh, my community don't understand and um they sometimes lack empathy towards it and they sometimes um they sometimes really uh downplay it and it wasn't healthy and so i felt that when i lost him i lost my only support and i and i thought he meant he couldn't talk to me anymore i thought he meant he didn't want anything to do with me and that's really emotional even now to think about and really hurtful but I have to keep reminding myself that that's not the truth he's coming from a place of being burnt out himself and being depressed himself and basically I was leaning on him for way more than I should have been um, I don't have any friends I want him to work on himself too uh, it was just really hard in that moment where I was already struggling and it was very um, black and white in my head. I just have to be okay with where I'm at in the present. And I'm working on that in therapy and in my daily life. So that's an update. Um, and really hard because I was already feeling so lonely, quitting my job and stuff. And not really being around people. I've been alone pretty much for two weeks. <laughs> apart from a couple of times when I hung out with family a group uh, program where I'll be learning more skills uh, I have a doctor's appointment to be put on antidepressants again kind of scared about that I haven't done well on them in the past and I have really weird reactions to that and I just really need to be in therapy Sometimes I feel like once a week isn't enough, and that's just where I'm at right now. <laughs> I'm glad to be going into a group, but I'm a little nervous about it. It's from 8.30 to like 2, I think, every day. And that's really early for me. <laughs> and I'm scared that I'll back out, but I don't want to. Uh, the other thing is... I am seeing my psychiatrist that I told you guys I got a little while back. Um, it's finally come uh, that it's next week. Um, it's going to be on the 22nd, but this video might be out after that because I do post one video a week. It doesn't matter if I had more than one video to post, so um, some of them are pre-recorded and stuff. As far as getting a new job, I'm taking the summer. Uh, at least the summer to heal a little bit mentally and hopefully get into a better mindset before I start looking at jobs or and or going back to school um, I, I just need a little bit of time before I think about that stuff I need to heal a little bit from whatever has been going on in my brain uh, the past couple of months I can't uh, think right now very clearly, but basically I reached out on Facebook and said, I don't know why we live this life, it's awful. And it sucks that I have to deal with trauma that someone gave to me that 
doesn't even have to deal with the trauma. <laughs> it's annoying. And everyone who has trauma probably feels that way. Um, especially emotional, verbal trauma, like abuse. I mean, anyways. And some people reached out who said nice things, but they don't really understand. And some people reached out who understand and said nice things. Um, I'm actually seeing a friend tomorrow uh, who I used to be friends with in high school who reached out. Um, another friend from high school reached out, but didn't ask to hang out. Just wanted to catch up, I guess, through text. Um, and then actually a family member reached out who I might uh, talk to as well. I don't know, I'm starting to spiral a little bit in this video. Um, I can tell when my thoughts start to circle and, and, and go crazy really in my head and they're starting to do that now. I'm on a break from my relationship. I am starting an outpatient program through chat, like video chat. Um, I am still going to therapy, trying to take care of myself, go on walks, read books, and do art and all that good stuff. And I'm seeing a psychiatrist and my doctor, and I'm probably going to be on meds. Either the next time I see you or the time after that. <laughs> So we'll be talking about medication in my next couple of videos. Yeah, that's all I have to say today. I hope you like my hair. I do. It gave me a lot of serotonin. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're having a hard time as well, I'm so sorry. I hope you get through it. I know you'll get through it. And stay strong for yourself because you matter. You deserve it. Okay? So thanks again.